Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous video, we discussed the structure, nomenclature, classification and clinical uses of tetracyclines. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of antibiotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. In this video, we shall learn the properties of tetracyclines. Amphoteric nature of tetracyclines. Stability of tetracyclines in solution varies with pH and derivative. The tetracyclines are amphoteric meaning that they form salts with both strong acids and bases. Thus, they may exist as salts of sodium or chloride. In other words, they exist mainly as zwitter ions in neutral solution or depending on the pH of the environment. Zwitter ions are the molecules having both positive and negative charges in the same molecule. The acid salts which are formed through protonation of the enol group on C2 of the tetracycline exist as crystalline compounds that are very soluble in water. These amphoteric antibiotics will crystallize out of aqueous solutions of their salts, however, unless stabilized by an excess acid. The hydrochloride salts are used most commonly for oral administration and usually are encapsulated because they are bitter. Water-soluble salts may be obtained also from bases such as sodium or potassium hydroxides but they are not stable in aqueous solutions. Water-insoluble salts are formed with divalent or polyvalent metals. Acidity constants of tetracyclines The unusual structural groups in the tetracyclines produce three acidity constants that is pKa1, pKa2 and pKa3 in aqueous solutions of the acid salts. These values are revealed by titration and have an isoelectric point at about pH 5. The conjugated triune system extending from C1 to C3 of ring A of tetracycline is acidic nature of pKa ranging from 2.8 to 3.4 approximately 3. The conjugated phenolic enone system extending from C10 to C12 is associated with weak basic pKa values ranging from 7.2 to 7.8. The C4 atom and its substituents exhibits pKa ranging from 9.1 to 9.7 which represents a strong alkali nature that is C4 alpha dimethyl amino moiety. Commercially available tetracyclines are generally administered as comparatively water-soluble hydrochloride salts. The approximate pKa values for each of these groups in the six tetracycline salts in common use as shown in the table. Because of the amphoteric nature of tetracyclines forms water-soluble salts with strong acids such as hydrochloric acid and strong bases such as sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, etc. Epimerization of tetracyclines In stereochemistry, an epimer is a molecule of one pair of diastereomers. The two epimers have opposite configuration at only one stereogenic center out of at least two. All other stereogenic centers in the molecules are the same in each molecule. Epimerization is the interconversion of one epimer to the other epimer. As a result, a diastereomer is formed. The classical example of this in medicine is tetracycline. In acidic conditions around pH 4, tetracycline readily undergoes epimerization at position 4 and an inactive 4-epi tetracycline is produced which on dehydration forms 4-epi androtetracycline, a highly toxic product. This toxic compound can also formed from acid catalyzed that is at lower pH dehydration of tetracycline via anhydrotetracycline. The figure shows the process of epimerization and dehydration of tetracycline. Dehydration or degradation of tetracycline in the presence of acid. Most of the natural tetracyclines have a tertiary and benzylic hydroxyl group at C6. This function has the ideal geometry for acid-catalyzed dehydration involving the C5A alpha-oriented hydrogen. The resulting product is a naphthalene derivative, so there are energetic reasons for the reaction proceeding in that direction. C5A6 anhydrotetracycline is much deeper in color than tetracycline and is biologically inactive. Not only can inactive 4-epitetracyclines dehydrate to produce 4-epiandrotetracyclines, 
but also anhydro tetracycline can epimerize to produce the same product. This degradation product is toxic to the kidneys and produces a Fanconi-like syndrome that has been fatal. Tetracyclines that have no C6 alpha hydroxyl groups such as minocycline and doxycycline cannot undergo dehydration and thus are completely free of this toxicity. Cleavage in base or degradation of tetracycline in the presence of base. Tetracyclines having a hydroxyl group at C6 undergoes a degradation reaction in the presence of alkali at or above pH 8.5. During this reaction, the hydroxyl group of tetracycline at C6 cleaves from the ring C and forms a lactone ring named isotetracycline which is an inactive compound. The clinical impact of this degradation under normal conditions is uncertain. And lastly, phototoxicity of tetracyclines. Certain tetracyclines, most notably those with a C7 chlorine, absorb light in the visible region leading to free radical generation and potentially causing severe erythema to sensitive patients on exposure to strong sunlight. Patients should be advised to be cautious about such exposure for at least their first few days to avoid potentially severe sunburn. This effect is comparatively rare with most currently popular tetracyclines. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the properties of tetracyclines. In the next video, we will learn the structure activity relationships and the mechanism of action of tetracyclines. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.